Hi, it's Mike from Pro Tools Expert, and this is the second of two videos cataloguing my experiences of setting up a Dante network here in my home base studio using a Focusrite RedNet 5 instead of my HDIO on my HDX system so that I could review the two Delec Mic Pre headphone units, the NI0204 and the DIO units. And in this video, we're gonna take a closer look at those two units. So you can see from my Dante controller software that I have done some routing. So I've taken the audio out from my Pro Tools system and sent it to some of the inputs of the 0204 and also sent it across to the headphones of the little DIO. And equally, in terms of going the other way, I've taken the mic out from the DIO and routed that into inputs of the RedNet, which now then can be picked up in Pro Tools. Or alternatively, looking at the 0204, again, I've taken two of the outputs outputs one and outputs two, and routed those through to the RedNet. But when it comes to controlling the DELEC units, there are basically no front panel controls, except for a headphone volume control. All the controlling for these DELEC units is all done over a web browser. So if we switch over to my web browser, and we just log in to the unit. Here now, I'm accessing the 0204. So we have a status control setup, so we can get a, a basic status setup, which of the ethernet ports is being used, and it's showing here that it's a one gigabit, we can see that the clock status is on slave because I'm running, my master clock is coming from my Focusrite RedNet 5. We can then look at the system configuration and there is redundancy. So you can put in two different networks, put in redundancy ports. So if one network port drops down, it'll switch over to the other. We can set here whether it's gonna be the master clock or not. We can set up the latency and obviously the sample rate. So let's take a look at the inputs. So the 0204 has two mic pre's. So they're dedicated XLRs on the front panel for mic one and mic two. And so I've got a mic plugged into mic one. I've turned the phantom power on because it's a condenser mic and I've adjusted the gain. And again, here you can see that we get a nice little level meter as well just to get a sense of level. And again, if we look at my Pro Tools rig, let me just get rid of those clips, then you can see that that audio is coming across from the 0204 over the Dante network, through the managed switch, into the RedNet 5, and then I've been able to pick that input up on my Pro Tools interface. We have a second input, so if you had a voiceover booth with two microphones, then you could just use that unit. You can see that it's a rack mounted unit, although it's only a half rack width unit. It comes with ears, so you could potentially put two units side by side or just use the one unit in the rack. Very simple to plug into. No user controls other than the headphones on the front. Everything is controlled from this web browser. So we've got our line inputs. So again, we can trim those so we can set our reference point and then Whenever you make changes, you can see here that it's warning you that those changes have not been saved. So if I were to lose the connection, those settings wouldn't be saved. But of course, just hitting the save config saves that configuration. And now all those settings are saved in the unit. So we've got two mic inputs, two line inputs, and a couple of stereo AES inputs. So if you've got some digital equipment that you want to hang on the end of this, then you can do that too. 
Then coming to the outputs, we've got our headphone output, so I can listen to whatever is fed into the headphones. We've also got a line output and another couple of AES outs as well. One on XLRs on the front panel, one on an RJ45 on the back panel. So there's a lot of I.O. here on this 0204. We now switch to the mixer, you can really start to see that basically the mixer here has access to all the inputs and the outputs. And so by configuring this mixer here, I can determine what is going to appear in the headphones. So I've picked up Dante 3 and 4, which if we just switch back to the Dante controller, so you can see that 3 and 4 are coming from my Pro Tools, so that's everything from my Pro Tools rig. So back here in my browser, we can see that that's I'm listening to those. If I wanted to listen to the mic locally, I could do, and just bring that fader up, and that would allow me to listen to the mic locally. So we just save those settings. You can also determine whether the headphone gain control on the front panel is enabled or not, or whether it's all controlled from software. So this unit could be at the other end of the building, and I've got total control of it from the studio. There's no user accessibility in the little voiceover booth that say this is in. I can control it all from a web browser on a computer in the studio. So again, we've got the line outs. We can route any combination. So it's not just hard routing, it's mixing. So we can configure a whole range of ins and outs to come out of the line output. The same with the two AES outputs, the same with the Dante network. So at the moment on Dante one and two out, I've just sent the mic one out and that's what's coming across in to Pro Tools. So again, it's not even just basic switching routing. I can create a whole range of different feeds and different mixers and everything is completely software controlled from a web browser. So that's the NIO 0204. Now, if we switch over to the little DIO, and again, we put the password in. So now we'll switch over my Pro Tools to pick up the mic pre on the little DIO. Now the mic preamp input on the DIO isn't on an XLR, it's on a little screw terminal connector so what I've done is I've put an XLR lead on the end of that so that I can access that. All the other I.O. is all routed out to a breakout cable. So there's a 25 pin D sub on the end and it comes with a breakout lead. So you've got access to the inputs and outputs as well as the headphone output. And the headphone output has a nice little box with a five pin XLR on one end and the headphone jack socket on the other end and a little volume control. And you can even control the range of that volume control from here. So if I want to configure it so it doesn't turn down completely, I can do. So again, if this is used in a little remote studio somewhere, you ha again have complete control. So that's the general settings. And here you can see that the analog input for channel one can either be the line input or the mic input. So I've set it as the mic input. And then here on the channel one, we can see that I can adjust the gain, turn the phantom power on and use that. Now, one of the things that I did find out in my experiments is the mic preamp in the DIO has enough gain for my Shure SM7 but when I did turn it up to get enough gain, it was quite noisy. So clearly the, the preamp isn't as quiet as some. I have to say that the preamp in the 0204 handled my SM7 absolutely fine. No trouble at all. I could turn up the gain and there was no noise. But the preamp in the DIO really needs to be driven, as it is now, by a condenser mic. So you can see that I've turned the phantom power on and... So what you can hear now is me talking through the Delec DIO mic pre over the Ethernet network, through the managed switch, into the Focusrite RedNet 5 and into my Pro Tools rig. 
So again, we've made some changes, so we'll just save that configuration. So the settings here on the DIO, much simpler because we haven't got a huge number of ins and outs. There is just one AES input. We've got an, a, essentially two analog line ins, which one of which at the moment I've got configured as my mic pre. There is this automatic level control setting that you can use. Again, if this was like a talkback mic or something of that type, then this would be a very useful feature to be able to put that in and get some form of automatic level control so that if somebody's talking a bit quieter, you still can hear them. So we've got a range of different options. We can check the audio levels. So here is the main out. So again, we can look at the different outputs, all available all routable. We've even got a noise and tone generator that we can enable. So we again, full access to all the inputs and the outputs, everything controlled from a web browser. So what are my thoughts? Well, the two units are a little different. The 0204 obviously has a lot more IO capabilities. It has a full mixer, so you can route and configure all sorts of IOs. So if your remote studio needed a certain amount more facilities, perhaps clean feed mixes to headphones, all sorts of different things like that, multiple mics, maybe a, a tape machine or some form of playout device, then you can route all those things through the different inputs and outputs, create all the appropriate feeds and matrices, everything done from the comfort of your own studio without having to run down to the remote voiceover booth to set it up. So this is incredibly powerful, lots of facilities, the mic preamps really good, very low noise, so no trouble with my uh, Shure SM7, a very comprehensive unit. The fact that it's just one silver box really completely underplays the amount of features that are in this unit. Then moving on to the little DIO, this really has great potential for little voiceover booths when in essence really all you need is a mic and a pair of headphones. I have to say that I was a little disappointed with the mic preamp. Perhaps I've got a sense that it might not be quite as good as I'd hoped when the input is on a little screw terminal connector. But certainly when driven by a condenser mic, as I have here, where I'm not having to use a huge amount of gain. When I had the SM7, I was up here sort of more like 55 get dBs of gain, and then the noise floor of the mic preamp crept up. But now, running it down around 36 dBs worth of gain, noise floor isn't an issue, and it would make a very useful little voiceover booth unit with a decent condenser mic, whether it be something like a 414, or the new Aston mic, or in this case, I'm using a Sennheiser 416. So there we go. There's a look at the two Delec units, the NI0204 and the little DIO. Hope that's been a help to you, and I'll see you again soon.